about Korean and the foreign Russia of EDM in the Greek democracy. These are our members, and these are our lovely advisors. Uh, this is the story of Matura Farm. The owner brought the goat to Pasuata Hospital as first August. The goat named 208. Seven months and have uh, 24.5 kilograms, which contain a lateral and sternal recumbency, sudden movement, and stiffness. And the next day, uh, the owner brought another goat to the Pursuit Art Hospital to uh, the goat named Raphael, five and uh, one and a half years, uh, 48 kilograms, which contain less than the 208. His tree taken by the clinician revealed that the goat normally wrong in the pasture and has general healthy. A fresh cat that cut nearby a wastewater pond. Physical examination by the clinician showed that uh, 208 have 5% higher level of the total nose, distance mood, and sternal recumbency. LFL have distance mood and lateral recumbency, but both of them have not any external wounds. And this is the video clip that shows this temple site of 208. Uh, and the majority heart has result of 208 by Hirschian River show that it's half leukocytosis, neutrophilia, MCHC, and hemoglobin slightly decreased but it's not significant, and have thrombocytosis. And but chemistry is normal, but frequent estimation by flotation in the files, downside high end, and amoria. And the hair result of Raphael as second August show that it's half leukocytosis, monocytosis, neutrophilia, MCS is rarely decreased, and half thrombocytosis, and plasma protein is increased. Uh, but KMT show that uh, ART and creatinine slightly increase and BUN slightly decrease. Differential the diagnosis from the condition, 208 can be uh, toxic ingestion, hemocus infestation, or SSC ingestion of the gut, or it can be periosteferomastia. And Lafayette uh, can be periosteferomastia or hemocus infestation. And the treatment and recommend that uh, the doctor gave to to test, uh, the doctor gave vitamin B one six twelve, vitamin C, normal saline, dexamethasone, and loramectin. And recommend from the paper book, uh, recommend that uh, it's hard to uh, give vitamin B one ten milligram per kilogram one million IV uh, every six hour for to it. 24 hours. So, so next, I'm going to tell you about the polioencephalomalacia. This is the disease, is neurological disease that causes cell necrosis in cerebral cortex, which will lead to the brain damage and give the animal's clinical sign it affects all age but appear to be more severe in young animals and they, this disease high mobility and high mortality and if you get it, if you, the dog will die one to two days after the onset of the clinical sign. Okay, this is the etiology of the polyoencephalomalacia. First is a dietary, the second is a toxin and metabolic disease. I'm going to run through the dietary risk first, like including thiamine deficiency and excess sulfur intake. Thiamine deficiency including high thiaminase production by ruminal bacteria plants such as blackened fern and rock fern, overdose duck such as diabendazole, levamizole, and polyam, or prolonged diarrhea from coccidiosis, fungal contaminated yeast and molasses. Next, excess sulfur intake from high concentrated feed, salt or sulfur from ground water, alfalfa, and sugar cane, ethanol byproduct, and hot water and hot weather. The next etiology is toxin and metabolic disease. 
perform cell poisoning and lead poisoning. This is the ranking of polio and cephalomalacia size. Uh, this uh, the size show in this case, including incoordination, mistake mode, tortiocolis, lateral recumbency, and convulsion. So we went to the follow-up and investigation on August 26. Our work plan are to OA and Raphael physical examination. We do a hematological, hematological and physical examination from 10% of current, record and recheck the feed and fab management. This is a 2A physical examination, they all seem normal. And it's also for Raphael physical examiner, examination, all seem normal too. And the hematological from 2A and Raphael are anemia and topocytosis. And uh, by chemistry from by chemistry and physical physical examination from two O eight and Raphael are the same and seem normal. Fe so sorry, physical examination from rotation technique uh, found strong guy plus four and Emilia plus four. Sedimentation technique found strong guy plus one and Emilia plus one. And the farming formation that has 85 goals. It used to be a daily cow farming since 2005 to 2016, and they stopped raising the animal for two years. And after that, they will come back to raise a goat since 2018 to now. And the farm has 60 rice. The worker in the farm has one owner and one worker, and no cats and no dog in the farm. This is the barn management. It's divided into seven sections, including bark, growing bark, early pregnant, late pregnant dough, and uh, dough, flowering dough, and the dough which keep three months. It's clean every day. And this is the vaccine program. It's FMD two times a day, and the worming program is albendazole so three times a year. Sorry. Vaccine is FMD two times a year. This breeding management is one male to four, four, four ten female. The owner will evaluate the dog body condition score before mating, and this one will well wasn't present about about history of abortion. The worker will take the go to the pasture at eight a.m. to two p.m. one time a day, and it's free roaming. And the feed management, they gave raw feed at cut daily and feed at 3 p.m., including purple green gas and for alivitum and manila tamarind for optional feed. And the concentrate they give one time a day um, is 16% protein lactate cow feed and with soybean meal and stylo and the water for alivitum. And this is the table for the concentrate. The doll and the kids under seven months will get 18% crude protein for, for 0 0.1 kg per goat per day. And the kids more than seven months and the growing goat will get, will get 17 crude protein, 17% crude protein and 0 0.3 kg per goat per day. And the bark will get 18 crude protein, 1 kg per goat per day. And every one lead of milk increasing. The dough will get 18% crude protein and 0.5 kg per goat per day. And this is our differential diagnosis. According to our, uh, according to the history taking, clinical side of this code examination, we can rule out everything um, except hemocup infestation, polio and cephalomalacia. And these are our tentative diagnosis. Um, for the risk factor, that we can go out that first plan because at the farm there is no fern. The overdose drug because the farm doesn't use any of these. The fungal contaminated feed because um, the farm has real feed storage and the farm doesn't give any of molasses, apopha, and sugar cane or ethanol byproduct to the goats. 
and also the farm provide an ad libitum of water to the goats so we can do other salt poisoning. And for the lead poisoning, there's no history of exposure. We also let us look at the pet way. When animals got high concentrated feed and high grain diet that contain a lot of sulfur, it would lead to an environment that's suitable for thiamines producing bacteria to grow and produce more of thiamines. When thiamines is increasing, the thiamine will be degraded into smaller form, eventually leading to the thiamine deficiency because the thiamine is decreasing. Okay, um, the consequence of thiamine deficiency is thiamine pyrophosphate, with, which is another form of thiamine, will will be decreasing. Then it will lead to um, the ATP production decreasing in cerebral cortex because the TPP plays an important role in going to the energy production. Well, the prolonged diarrhea will be too thiamine decreasing. The sulfur will turn to sulfide ion and promote the thiamine degradation. The sulfur that in the sulfide ion form will inhibit the electron transport chain in mitochondria and lead to ATP production to decrease. When the brain cannot produce the energy, it will lead to the cell death and cause cell swelling. That will appear to be a cerebral edema. And if the animal clinical sign of epitotonus in coordination, nystagmus and convulsion. For our further plan for feed management, we calculate the suitable amount of concentrated feed to the goat, which are which is 0 0.3 kilogram per goat per day as fed basis for a 40 kilogram goat. Yeah, which is the same as the farm given to the goat, but if the goat is weight lighter, like 20%. 20 kilogram light sounds too bad. So it seems that the amount of the concentrated fee seems too much. Uh, for the worming program should be done every three months and screening check every year for 25% of the herd. For the pasture management, uh, we will limit the area because the farm has like very, very large farm area. As the owner requested, uh, we will divide it go into three groups, including bark growing and pregnancy goat with doe and doe with kids. So we suggest to divide the pasture into four columns, then rotate the goat in each column every week. This is the ideal pasture. We need the shade, feces, fence, and water. Uh, okay, these are the fecal exam results of 10% of the herd. When we visited the farm to do a herd health examination, the results show lots of A and oocysts. So, um, these are a comparing of the drug use to reduce an intestinal parasite in goat. It says, Levamisole has a greater disease decrease than ivermectin. Ivermectin and albendazole, so we suggest the only Thank you for your attention.